I try the mushroom? Do you like magic mushroom? <laughs> the monkey just ate a magic mushroom and now it is acting strange. Oh god. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Good morning, everybody. I'm here in Sulawesi, Indonesia, and I'm super excited today because I'll be going to Tangkoko National Park, which is a huge reserve with exotic animals like the tarsier. And I'm going to take you guys along into the jungle with me. So let's go. Siapa namumu? My name is Walo. Hello, Walo. I am guide in Tangkoko. Apa kabar? Kabar sangat baik sekali. A beautiful day. Hopefully, we get get to see lot of animals today. Yeah, it's a great day. Good weather, huh? Really good. What's your favorite animal? Tarsier. Me too. They're so cute. It is cute. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you from? I'm from here in uh, Tangkoko. I live in Batu Putu village. We call Batu Putu village. I live in the Oh, cool. Village. <laughs> Native. <laughs> <laughs> is uh, the, the Sulawesi language similar? Like it's Bahasa Indonesia? Uh, actually, or? in Sulawesi, we use uh, the, like local language. We use uh, Manado language. Manado language. So completely different language. D different language. Than, oh, uh, so how like do you say? Original. Terima uh, kasih. Uh, usually, we say yeah, it's it kind of same like. Terima kasih. But in Manado. In Manado, right? same, same. Oh, how? Oh, same, same. The same, yeah. Oh, okay. Kasih, but the summer language is uh, quite uh, different, actually. Same, same, but like, different. <laughs> yeah, same, same, but different. Okay. <laughs> oh, he opened. Cool. Will he jump? No. If you hit him with he's laser? Flying, but he's going to fly like... There like, is... Uh, on her head. A flying <laughs> lizard. <laughs> he's going to spread his wings and fly on my head. <laughs> He's pointing his laser. Do you guys see that? Woo! <laughs> oh. What? Did he fly? Fly. Should I... Do oh, cool. oh, okay, <laughs> bye. Look at these trees. They're so huge and thick. Look at those roots. I don't know what happened here. But avoid that. When you said orb spider, I start walking this way, I almost walked into it. Look at that orb spider and spider web. Do not, do not want to walk into that. <laughs> this one? Hit the, the trees or their body Ooh, on the back. Yeah. It's like it's blue and red. The color is gonna be looks bright. Like okay. Green. What happens to it? <laughs> oh, that's a, a box over there, up there. Lantern so, bug. Lantern bug. So when it's the sun, usually it's the sun. It's really nice to see when it's the sun hit their their body. So the color will looks so bright, like green and. Oh, it changes uh, colors. Yeah, it changes colors. When the sun hits it. Oh, there's a monkey right there next to him. Hello. <laughs> oh, booty shot. <laughs> it's just standing there showing itself. <laughs> I feel like a pervert just getting this shot. Okay. <laughs> Look. There's a group of them over here. Oh, big one. Hey, big guy. Oh, don't look at me like that. Wait, don't, don't go. <laughs> so today we are exploring the rainforest in Northern Sulawesi, and we just came across a macaque that's eating the oh gosh. mushrooms directly off the down tree. Yep. He's having a feast with these mushrooms. Should I try the mushroom? The monkey just ate a magic mushroom and now it is acting strange. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like magic mushroom? <laughs> and this is their alpha macaque leader. 
He's taking a little break there. <laughs> There's like a pink bubble gum on him. See? Right there. There's two tarsier, see? Aren't they so cute? Size of my fist. Just staring at us. Nocturnal, like they're nighttime only. Oh, so that here is a <coughs> Sulawesi endemic species, comprised of four subspecies that is uh, distributed uh, throughout Sulawesi but whose population is found in pocket north central and south sulawesi so they call it the tarsal because of their elongated uh, uh, tarsal <coughs> so they are uh, tiny animals they are head and body legs at approximately 10 centimeter and weighing approximately little over 100 grams so they are uh, nocturnal animals the activity uh, take uh, place mostly at night, hunting for insects like uh, katydids, longhorned uh, grasshoppers, cricket, and roaches. Ooh. Yeah. So whole night they do hunting uh, for insects, and then usually they come out around uh, uh, five or five thirty in the evening. And at the same time, so in the morning, they come back to the sleeping tree at like uh, uh, 4.30 or 5, early morning. So they come back, they go back to sleep in the, the whole trees. But uh, sometimes they are not uh, uh, stay in the same trees because of the predators, so they move to find uh, other trees. If there are no this, like their main trees, like their main house, there's a predator, so they move to find the other trees around here. So what eats them? So, so the predators like uh, uh, owl birds mm. and then uh, snakes like pythons. Ooh. Mm. Yeah. Are there pythons here? Python. Yeah, we have python here. We have like uh, uh, six, uh, five. Or seven meters long. Whoa, that's yeah, crazy. but sometimes you're lucky to find the snakes. In you the ever forest. see? Oh, uh, mm, since like two months ago. Two months ago. Yeah. See daytime or nighttime? Uh, sometimes daytime, sometimes night. Okay. He's pointing at a woodpecker. Sure Woody enough. woodpecker. Oh, look at how they move. Oh, bye. It flew away. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> help, help. Shit. Did you do that on purpose? That is a huge tree. You can see the people and then this tree. Oh, my goodness. Tarsier noises, and now the tarsiers are making the noises back. Oh, now the tarsier came out. Oh, how cool is that? something on his phone and now they came out <laughs> hey looks like a furby or a gremlin <laughs> you're so cute I don't know if I want to keep it if it's gonna make that noise in my room Wow. I can't believe it makes a noise like that. Do you 
you look like a demon. <laughs> <laughs> BBC. <laughs> She's like, BBC, a yeah, very good camera. Yeah. So we're just using binoculars to look at the couscous, and there's three of them. Yeah, I can't really see because you just see their bodies. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah I could just see their bodies, but I'm gonna use the binoculars now. Mm -hmm. uh, can you put the laser on it? You can't. Oh, it on. He, he ran out of batteries. Oh, okay. I have to see them and then point. You see the point going? Yeah, oh. We're in there and then left and then behind us. Yeah, I see them. Yeah. Oh, cool. I'm Wait. looking at three couscous up there right now. Do you have a noise for them? No. <laughs> couscous noise? He's scared he uh, turned them on and then they come attack him. Maybe it likes my whistle. <laughs> You're covering your face. <laughs> Sulawesi is awesome. Northern Sulawesi is where the Tankoko National Forest is. Hello. 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 <laughs> Are you doing research? No, it's another look in the, the, the birds. Oh, birds. Yeah. Oh, okay. The photographer. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. Bye. 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 There's photographer getting the birds. Oh, they're so far from me. I gotta catch up. Look guys, we got lucky. We found a couscous. Couscous? The way she did it. Sulawesi, Indonesia couscous. So it's like a kangaroo looking koala slash panda <laughs> slash monkey. Usually they're super high up, but we got lucky. This one's kind of lower for us to see okay guys here is a couscous it's a marsupial and he's looking right at us it's so cute it's like a bear panda kangaroo monkey he's like a sloth cute he's thing. not moving sloth <laughs> hi i think he's scared you wanna see uh okay I'm gonna see with the binoculars. Ooh, <laughs> direct hit. Oh wow. Oh wow, his eyes just went so much bigger. Nice eyes, huh? He looks like a sloth. His ears are so small. Yeah, he's small. Ooh, there's your pup. Look at your legs. I'm not sure what they're looking at. Okay, so there's an owl that looks like a tarsier and it hunts and eats tarsier. I saw it with binoculars and it looks so evil. Alright guys, so it's raining right now but we're protected by this big umbrella of the jungle. And it sounds really cool just hearing the water pattering on the leaves. Okay, and he has an umbrella. <laughs> Waldo. Hey, thank you. <laughs> I'm protected. Extra protected. I'm okay because that. Yeah, thank you. Benefit of being short is I haven't felt a drop of rain yet. They have, but I haven't. I love how. Um, we could see these animals in their natural habitat and not in a zoo. It's an awesome thing about Tankoko National Park in Sulawesi. We're looking at a big black ebony tree. A big black, big black what? Sorry. Ebony tree? Ebony. <laughs> so it's just black. We thought it was burnt, but it's just ebony. 
water so by it's hard hard it's hard wood it's really dense nice to like make uh, furniture oh so we, we really this is a oh, the good ebony one. wood it's a good one for so furniture we cut it down and sell it in bali here's a green back king okay. fisher um, it has a red this, head this, this this is the female Okay, so the female kingfisher has a red head, and then the male kingfisher bird has a blue head, more blue head. So we're looking at a female. It's just standing there in the ring. The girls don't have to impress like the boys do. Okay, guys, so if you're in Tancoco National Park in Sulawesi, you can ask your guide. Whew, I'm stepping on coconuts right now. Right over here. You can ask your guide to take you to the beach right next to it, which is really cool. That's the cool thing about this national park. <gasps> there is a beach. Super soft sand. Woo. Fishermen. It's really, really beautiful here. And blue water. Ooh, <laughs> he doesn't like water. <laughs> nice. It's really awesome, guys. The view is great. Huh? Tarzan. Tarzan. Ooh. <laughs> Funny guide. Smells good. I feel like he's joking. I feel like this is gonna smell bad. Yeah. Oh, it smells really good. Mmm. Makes you want to eat it like a fruit. Yeah. Mmm. Do you guys know the name of this? What do you call it? Marintonia Asiatica. Oh, good luck. <laughs> Should I dye my hair this color? Yep. <laughs> Bura Ashtatica? Marintonia Asiatica. Again? That's the tree, so Marintonia Asiatica. Marintonia Asiatica. <laughs> no. <laughs> cool, and it smells like... Mm. A fresh a grape, <laughs> apple, and hermit crabs all around. Really? A little tiny one. Oh yeah. Let's see. Yeah, crab. <laughs> Bye, beach. Oh, burning so many calories here in Tancoco National Forest here in Sulawesi. Um, it's getting a little warmer, but it's manageable, not too bad. Um, but yeah, these trees provided shade from the sun and it was raining a little bit and I didn't feel really a drop of rain on me because of all of this here, which is really awesome. Um, but we are a about to end the trek. We're almost at the end point, but we saw amazing creatures today. The tarsier being my favorite um, and the couscous too. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And we are almost at the end of our trek. Um, I had an amazing time and I highly recommend coming to Tancoco National Park if you ever visit North Sulawesi, Indonesia. Um, it's a great experience. And it's really nice that you get to see these animals in their natural habitat and not in a zoo. Hello, Makasi Banyak for the tour. Your name again? Waldo, my name is Waldo. Okay, find Waldo when you're here. Okay. He's a good guide. Thank you so much. High five. High five. Bye bye, enjoy your next trip. Bye bye. The guy, the driver, and Michael are playing frisbee. Oh no! <laughs> Right in front of Tancoco National Forest. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> wow.
Oh, oh, he aimed for my foot. <laughs> I closed my eyes, almost in my head. <laughs> yep. Thank you. Thank you. Can't wait to eat, and we're gonna go back to our place, and I'll give you guys a little tour of what the room looks like. Bing. This is for the next time you want food. I already. I know, like today, tomorrow, no problem. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, we're just gonna go upstairs yeah. and grab food. Okay, guys, so we're here at the Tenkoko Sanctuary, and you have to climb all these steps to go to the restaurant. And there's worms or millipede. There's one there. Super kind of exhausted. Oh no, there's dogs. Wait for me, wait for me. <laughs> Don't leave me. <laughs> wait for me. Ah, uh, ah, uh, wait, Michael, Michael. It's better if I go first. Than the... Hello. You're okay, you're okay. Hello. Okay. I'm just tired. Can't go. <laughs> okay, we're safe. They recognize us. Watch your head. Oh. Okay, I cannot wait to eat. Here's nice. the restaurant. Ooh, here's the view. We get free tunes. Ooh, Look at that. volcano there. I think the locals are playing music. And she's working on the garden there. Okay, so we have lunch, and it looks like. Ikan fish curry and corn fritters. I think it's called burgadel and is that urab? Oh, chicken. Chicken curry. That's ayam, not fish, guys. Ayam. Let's eat veggies. Mix of veggies, and fly, and then the main course of the lunch. Ayam curry. Get that there. And then a little scoop. Just a little bit because my stomach hurts a little bit. Well, I've had food poisoning for about man, feels like a week, but I'm gonna go easy on the curry. Makan. Okay, just rip it. No knife needed. Savage. And I'll take a big, I'll do a little piece first. Get Korean rice. Try that. It's temperature hot and I got a bone <laughs> and I'm crying a little bit because <laughs> I bit really hard on this bone and it's hot <laughs> but it's good it's not spicy it's tasty and I'm gonna get some veggies to mix it spinach mmm mmm that's good I like the veggies actually more than the actual chicken but maybe that's because I ate a bone. Let's give the chicken another try after I eat my spinach. Let's avoid a bone, please. Okay, this one looks good. Second chance with the ayam. Mmm, mmm. Another bone. Mmm. <laughs> Said meat is tender mm, and it's not too salty. It's good when you balance it out with the rice. I'm happy. Food here at Tenkoko Sanctuary Restaurant is 
enough. Here is corn fritter, aka brigadel. Mmm. Nice and hot. Mmm. Tasty, guilty pleasure snack. You'd think it'd be salty, but it's just like. fried goodness and that so delicious hi <laughs> hello do you want to say hi to the vlog hi hi <laughs> what's your name i'm anna anna hi anna <laughs> thanks for the food okay thanks if you're ever in tan coco come to tan coco sanctuary because the restaurant makes chocolate pancakes Mm. All right, so one day full board is 925,000 Indonesian rupiah, and that is equivalent to. $61. So just finished lunch and I'm gonna head down to the room now and I'll go ahead and show you what the room looks like. Oh, there's our driver at Tankoko Sanctuary in Sulawesi, Indonesia. <laughs> hey, hello. So just went down all those stairs and then this is the room. in the garden villa. So here's the room, guys. The bed, and it actually has two extra beds so it could sleep like four people. And the bathroom is my favorite part about the place. It's really big. Here's the shower, and you have a bathtub. The whole wall is orange, really cool, I love that. Very, very spacious. And a lot of reverb. Oh, lots of flowers. <laughs> That's what I love about Indonesia. And then back to the room. There's your AC up there, and they provide you with water, tea, closet, mirror, a safe, extra blanket. Oh, there's the extra blankets. A working desk, kettle coffee and that is a little tour of the room makasih Makasi bye bye safe trip thank you <laughs> now we are headed to the beach just 45 minutes away from Tancoco national park is Pal beach a lot of locals are here white sand blue water and a lot of locals love it. And the sand is super white. So after Pal Beach, our driver actually brought us over to this private beach and it's super beautiful. We'll show you guys. And they're playing frisbee over there. You have the white sand. We have a swing, heart swing, and then the private beach. It's owned by this nice lady over here. Hello. Here it is. There's a little bit of sun left. The sand is so white. Chill out all the way over there too. Here's the swing. And it was five thousand to use the toilet. Thank you. Right next to 
to the private beach is Pulisan Beach. There's a sign there. I love Pulisan. And local swimming. White sand. Blue waters. And hills. Not as many people here like Powell Beach. It's a nice road. 